What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Eloquent, and I just wanted to show the progress on... Oh, the lighting is bad. Okay. This is a quick video that's overdue on the progress on my Invisalign. Um, I basically want to say that it's a little more painful now. I don't know if you can see. There's actually some little knobs that they basically... They use like a UV light. They put this kind of cement or mold and they put a UV light and they actually see how it is. So now I have like on this tooth and this tooth and this tooth and that tooth a knob. Like a, it's a hard thing. So basically um, when I put the trays on that it actually sits into and I will say it makes it more painful now. Um, sometimes I put it in halfway and I stop in order to keep it from in order to keep it from hurting a lot. Um, I try not to take it on and off. I'm drinking more liquids now because sometimes when I have it on, it hurts. But I'm actually on one C now, and I would say it takes about two to three days for the pain to subside. But because it actually has the little knobs also on the plastic and they say that's supposed to help to tighten it up even more and I only have them on the bottom I don't have them on the top so basically that's my progress thus far um, I will say that I love it and I like the fact the reason I picked this over the braces is the fact that if I have to give a speech or if I have to talk to somebody for a long time I just pop them out because they do affect my speech with braces when you have them on you have to have them on no matter if they're hurting or not you still have to keep them on if these are hurting once again I do take them off take some Tylenol or ibuprofen works better for me take some ibuprofen let it kick in about 20 minutes and then I put it back on sometimes I'll take ice and kind of have my mouth cold and it gives it like another sensation so I don't focus on the actual tightness of the Invisalign. I don't have. I don't know how many trays I have left because when I went to the doc, the dentist's office, they tried to pull up the account and their computer blocked the access or whatever. So, next video I'll let you know what my progress is, how many trays I have left. Um, thank you for tuning in, and I love it. My teeth are starting to close up. I have a gap in the middle, and I don't know if I want to close it yet, but I'm thinking yes. Because I don't want all the other teeth to be so close together and the other teeth in the middle is just like a gap. And I will say, because of the cost, about almost $4,000, I was a little reluctant. And every month when they charge my card, I'm like, ugh. But I will say that I used to be self-conscious and always thought that people were looking at my teeth. But now I have the confidence to speak to anybody because I know they're not staring at the gaps and I will say if you have a missing tooth get something put in because this all started because I had to have a tooth removed because I used to eat a lot of ice and what ended up happening is I had a tooth removed and now the teeth over like a span of four five years the teeth kept spreading and spreading and spreading and making spaces in between and it can also ruin the tooth on top because if the tooth on top, when your teeth bite down, if there's nothing there, it can actually make the tooth on top drop also. So, the moral of the story is, take care of your mouth and keep it eloquent. Thank you for tuning in.